I suppose I spent longer in Welp than in any other ship, and I was first ten second in command in a sense from beginning to end. And it took me all the way from Scarpa Flow to Tokyo and back again. Being in Tokyo Bay with the surrender ceremony taking place in a battleship which was what? 200 yards away, and you could see what was going on with a pair of binoculars. It was a great relief. And I remember because from there we went on to Hong Kong. And the most extraordinary sensation when we sailed, we suddenly realized we didn't have to darken ship anymore. We didn't have to close all the scuttles. We didn't have to turn the lights out. So you suddenly, all these little things built up to, to uh, you suddenly feeling that life was different. After the surrender, Prince Philip's ship, HMS Whelp, took on board a number of prisoners of war who'd been held by the Japanese. These people were, were naval people. They were emaciated. And they sat down in the mess. They were suddenly in, a, in an atmosphere which they recognized. You know, they were back in the mess. And the people, our ship's company, recognized that they were also fellow sailors. And so we gave them a cup of tea. But I mean, it was an extraordinary sensation because they just sat there and, and both sides, I mean, our own and them, I mean, just tears pouring down their cheeks. I mean, they, they just drank their tea. They, they, they really couldn't speak. It was the most extraordinary sensation. 